Welcome back, everyone, to the second half of Olympus Rises, where I, your host, Jordan, a.k.a. Making Games on the Internet, take you on a wonderful journey through the stars, the help, my wonderful crew. They just fought off a couple of fighters. Let's see what they can do next. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Well, that went over quite well. Certainly. Well, I don't think we're out of the woods yet, are we? Uh, I'm just well, wait, uh, waiting for the other uh, the other shoe to drop. Well, no, not nearly. Uh, and you did take damage. It's not like you got came out unscathed. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the group of you 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 make it into the the line of of, uh, of frigates and. You have a, a brief moment's reprieve um, while you're kind of weaving in and out of the uh, the frigates and cruisers and other sure. ships that are here and, and firing um, and doing their own tasks, as it were. And um, the uh, I think there's probably like a sigh of relief, and it's coming from the uh, the commander who's on the ship, the West Wind commander who's on the ship. And he probably was like sitting down. You could see like where he was maybe gripping the seat a little bit hard because it's hard to be in a place that you're unfamiliar with and also not in control of. Um, and to be fair, West Wind is not a militaristic society. So this is probably like a guy who went to college, got a degree and then joined the West Wind security forces and got stationed on a ship, right? Um, okay. It's not it's not a Barba mm -hmm. Society military dude. Um, he's probably seen training exercises, and he's probably seen one or two scraps before, um, but probably never anything this scale, uh, because there's not there, internet there, or if it's what 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 I'm catching like you're saying, and I just want to know if it's me. Oh, it's definitely you, Matt. 100% yeah, you're, you. it's you. Yeah, yeah, it's, you're going, Robotty. It's you. You go in and out. Fuck, it's probably my internet then. Just, I'll <laughs> deal with it. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> um, so, yes, you. He, he's probably been in combat scenarios, but he also is stationed on a cruiser, and you're usually not scared of shit on a cruiser. Right, uh, you 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 typically are not uh, not too terribly worried about the fighters and frigates that are coming up against you because cruisers are like another step up from where the things rank as far as strength goes, um, and he probably breathes a sigh of relief and he says, "Uh, I think we're out of it now." I think Dilko would laugh and turn to him and say, you, you think you guys are out of it? Did, did you see all those ships? He's like, um, yes, of course I did, but uh, I, I believe this is only our quick strike or a quick response unit that has arrived. Shortly there should be more ships. The fleet that they brought was certainly not big enough in size to think about taking anything. Of meaning, meaningful value, of course. Osk Oscar pipes up and he says, I didn't realize that tensions had escalated to this point between Westwin and Kachera. I think that he probably says, well, to be honest, they, they really haven't. We've been running mostly recovery missions for the Tan. They may be displaced, but they are still a force to be reckoned with. Their ships are powerful for a group of pacifists. But to think that they would show themselves in this space, perhaps it is simple that they were only passing through? And perhaps a jump miscalculation? It's unclear. They looked, they looked pretty ready upon entering. This as much is true. Also, they probably wouldn't take very kindly to any group helping the group, you know, that they've been actively annihilating. Well, I cannot say we were not ready ourselves. That's why the quick response unit is on call. Just in case something like this were to happen. Sure, sure, yeah. So where would you like us to drop you off? 
Yeah, and I think that as you say that, go go. Uh, big old warning sensors light up. Um, uh huh. That's what I was afraid of. And it says collision imminent. Uh, and you you look quickly at the screen and you realize that a disabled, um, like a disabled larger freighter ship, is like directly into your path and you can see where it's kind of breaking apart a little bit. It looks like it's been hit with one of those larger bolts uh, and it's finally like melted through and it's like right in your way. And I need you to make me a vehicle space with intelligence check and make it a good one. Okay, 11's good. No. Uh, so, so yeah, you quickly have to like pull the ship up and, and you do the, you, you fly it sideways and through the middle of the wreckage of the ship where we can see like crates and boxes are falling and, you know, probably like minor debris is pinging off of the hull. Um, and you come out the other side and uh, I'm going to roll something for Dr. Fisher here. Um, okay, good. You come out the other side and um, Dr. Fisher says, uh, go, go. It, it, um, it looks like some of the fighters might have made it through into the lines, into the back lines. Uh, on the right, it's a fighter, but it's... Uh, I think it's... Oh, no. And, um... He's like, I think it's a Greed. The Greed-class fighter. And you can see now, kind of coming into your into your vision, along uh, the side of you, like, kind of flying around the other ship, um, it appears to be tracking you, but was waiting to see what happened when you flew through the freighter. And now that you've come out the other side, you can see that it's kind of engaging you and warming up its engines. Um... Dr. Fisher quickly informs you that this is not your typical class fighter that you were just fighting. In addition, it's a two, it's a two seater and there is a primary gunner, uh, and a primary pilot. Um, it's also typically pretty, it, it's more heavily armed than the last one. And, uh, as, as Matt would say, the other shoe drops and, uh, go, go, if you could roll me another quote-unquote initiative check. Like, we're such a little ship. Like, why do they care? <laughs> Technically, you're bigger than this ship is. We, we did shoot down and, two of them in the yeah, past, like, five minutes also. And you're actually not that big. You have, like, 60 tons of cargo space. You're actually a pretty big ship, comparatively. We're just not a fighting ship. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is a disadvantage for you. Uh, let's see. Let's find a good... Uh, not that missile ship. Missile ship seems like a little much. Um, this ship doesn't have missiles. An 8? Okay, not bad. Uh, oh, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, so we have like a World War One plane chasing us. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go ahead and control you and put like, an eight here. Like if that's the front, it looks like a World War One. Oh no, that is the back. That's, yeah, I know that's the, the back, but yes. I see what you mean though. Yeah. Um, okay, and let's roll for these guys now. These guys, they are if, if the others are not not quite as um, quite as dope as this one in particular. Uh, this one's a little bit. Um, this is going to be bit better. fun. So let's see. This, this. Uh, uh, equal space with dexterity. Okay, you still you're still able to detect him in time and get the. Uh, the jump on him, as it were. He only gets a seven. So, he's right on your tail, close range, and uh, you're also in the in the middle of all like the West Wind ships. So it's not just kind of free flying like you were before. So there's some there's some maneuvers that are going to have to be, but you can use that to your advantage as well. 
uh, but so can they. So, what does the group think they want to start with? <laughs> Is Matt dead? Can Can you hear me at all? We can now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just, yeah, um, my internet has been cutting in and out, and it's frustrating. You um, sound you sound fine now. You're not going robot or anything. Okay. Um, so this thing, I just because I missed some of what you said. Also, I yeah, just no problem. Make sure I have a correct picture of what's going on. This thing is like on us, despite our being within. Yeah. So what? so the fighter, the dog fight, has kind of moved towards the west wind line. Uh, the fighters have pursued inward, like kind of hit and run, and then pursued inward into the middle of the line because they are trying to fight within the ranks of the Westwind ships because they can cause a lot of friendly fire that way. Um, that's that's their goal. M metagaming, that's their goal. And so yeah. okay. now there are dogfights taking place, but they're like in the middle of all the Westwind ships. Um, and this one spotted you... Uh, going through the freighter and then came out the other side with you um, and is now on your tail. Well, kind of alongside of you, but yeah. Um, and as I said before, there there are there's a lot of like maneuvering that's going to have to happen and stuff like that, and I'm actually probably going to impose roles upon the pilots, both pilots, uh, to make sure they don't fuck it up. Yeah, well, I mean... I would if... like... Go ahead. If their goal seems to be to try to get the West Wind, I mean, like, you know, again, not to metagame it too hard, but with what you just described, if Oscar recognizes that, like, oh, he's, you know, coming after us to try and cause friendly fire, um, he'd, you know, get back on the horn to Fortune and say, you think you can get them too? Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. You know, the, the only reasonable thing to do is to blow them out of the sky before yeah. they can mess anything up in that way. So, sure. so yeah, I'm going to try and decrease fortunes. All right. Skill. Uh, yeah. Three points. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Nailed it. Do I, yep. do I get sure reaction do. for two rounds because of that? No. no um... That, that is a 13. It's almost double. Mm -hmm. um, That's still only a but, 10 roll, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will... Uh, I want to use the... The... the uh, engine burn. Okay, you want to use the engine and, burn again? Yeah. Sure. sure. But would... Uh, can I get a re-roll on that? Uh, so you want... You want um, <laughs> Can I get a reroll? <laughs> yeah. Can I get a will check? So you want, yeah. Aww, so you want will, <laughs> will rip. So you want Doctor Fisher to uh, do the optimal lock again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a difficulty seven for Doctor Fisher. Doctor Philip Fisher. Intelligence. Who? No. Uh, do you want him to reroll? Do you want him to burn it right now? Yeah, uh, that's up to you guys. Maybe. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna no, do it. I think, I think we gotta go. We we have to try just going all in because yeah, yeah. All right. we gotta make it right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The mo the better. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Jesus. <coughs> just makes it. Hey, that works. Just makes it. Yep, it works. So you get the reroll with the minus two. Should it fail? Uh, should your first shot fail? Uh, what do you want Chan to do? Uh, do you want to start a cr regaining crew points now? <laughs> you want you want him to try and start <laughs> regaining crew points? Yeah, I mean, it hasn't gone great since then, but I mean, yeah, I mean we can try it. Well, I mean one is always helpful. You oh yeah, know. no, no, I'm not yeah. to do it, but yeah. Yeah, uh, Chan does it. Uh, no, yeah, he does do it because he needs a seven. Yep, hooray! Uh, Oh, luckily it costed zero. It was free, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, so Gogar, are you going to do anything to assist or anything? Like, you can do, like, you know, I'm, well, I'm just I throwing it out there. You can do the thing where next round. Yeah, that's what I was You get a bonus. Do. 
because it still seems like even for next round we should do essentially the same thing. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a try. And which one fate. is that? Um, Lock, lockdown Faint. Lockdown Faint, yeah. So you turn, if it's to flee, drawing into a uh, pursuit trajectory, and then you, you you know, you do the, the rope-a-dope, right? That's basically what this is. Yeah. It's the, the rope-a-dope, and then you give a plus three on the next round. Okay. Uh, and that is a difficulty, what? Eight. Difficulty eight. No problem. Okay, oh, so let's yeah. spend the... Also, it cost... Yep, two. Yeah, okay. Boom. Okay. All right, he cool. It. So I'm going to shoot a thing. All right. Uh, so the stats on this ship are a little bit different for obvious reasons. AC? Uh, AC is five. PC is me. Gunnery skill is zero. Attribute is zero. Enemy speed. Four. Oh, okay. Ship's a little bit easier to hit. Yeah. Uh, no other modifier. Oof. But I get a reroll. Yep, you get a reroll with a minus two. AC is five. Mm -hmm. PC three. Gunnery skill zero. Zero. Speed is four. Mm -hmm. Other modifier minus, minus two. two. Mm -hmm. Oof. Fuck. Oh. You technically rolled that. All right. Well, so at least we know though it, that it is hittable because you rolled a twelve and a thirteen. So yeah. Um. So yeah, you you fire off a couple shots, um, and I think they probably just maneuver out of the way, right? Like they just they they twist and and evade. Um, they they saw it coming. Yeah, yeah. I think they saw it coming. Like as soon as as soon as they saw you like take off, right? As soon as they saw Gogo like take off, I think they were like, all right, this is you know it's a chase now. It's not going to just be blowing them out of the water. Um, yeah. and they give pursuit, but evade deftly. Uh, so, it's their turn, and, uh, they have a dedicated gunner, who is actually good at gunning. <laughs> uh, not like those other guys. So, um, they also are equipped with two multifocal lasers, as opposed to just one. So they still get the same amount of shots. So your AC is six, correct? Uh, Correct. Attack bonus is gunnery skill is uh, attribute modifier. Enemy speed. Your speed is currently three, right? Correct. Um, and no other modifier. Okay, first one's a miss. But they do get the second shot. AC of six. Enemy speed is three. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, so it's just we're, we're, barely whizzing by the hull. We're we're both equally bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that's the that's the thing. Like the combat kind of started off a little bit sketchy, and so both of you are just. Well, I think firing. we're testing the water right now. Like, yeah. What do we do? What do, we do? Um, okay. So at the top of the round, uh, Gogo, I would like you to roll me a vehicle space with intelligence, and I'm gonna roll a vehicle space with. Oops, I did not want to open a new Google tab. Thank you though. Appreciate your concern there, Google. Uh, 10 is good. 10 is, is safe. Uh, and then... Where is he? There he is. And uh, this is vehicle space with dexterity. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, I think Gogo, -Go, like, maybe you try and lose him with your 10, right? You, like, fly around a ship, but he's, like, hot on your tail. Not going anywhere. He's stuck to it like glue. Um, and also, neither of you crash and die. So that's good. That's that's good. Uh, sure that's bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> you want so, him to crash and die. <laughs> so it's the PC's turn. Uh, what are you guys thinking here? I would... Can we have What's-His-Face call for backup? <laughs> uh, yeah, you could. You guys could... Um, Can we tell him I think, to, like, so, we're around the other ships, right? right? So, so it, in order to do that... Like, right, in order to do that... Uh, fire? Yeah, in order to do that, Doctor Fisher would have to give up his comm console for it, so he yeah, wouldn't. He that wouldn't get around. It, guys. That, that's fine. <laughs> I think I've, I've got it. a. We've got a plus three for this round, anyways. Right, because we have the bonus yeah, okay. anyway. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. I think. How how does it, who who says that and like how does it come across? 
I mean, I feel like Gogo is probably like no, recognizes we're around all these other fucking ships, and we're like, he should probably turn to him. It's just like, you want to do something useful? Why don't you get your buddies to help us? <laughs> yeah, I think if we can if we can coordinate that with something Oscar can do, I'd like to use the uh, going all out. The, the what's that? You go you going big? Are you going loud, Oscar? Um, I I think we're gonna be magnificent bastards and tell have, have this guy tell them exactly what we're going to do so like try and get this thing this guy to chase us into a position where they're fully prepared to pick him off okay. so that that is our trap yeah try to get him to follow us and do you want to do that before everything else or do you want to do that as like the final action in this round um, I I think that I, we're gonna have him do that, and I'll I'll do that as the final yeah um, the final yeah. Let's make sure we can get back up first <laughs> before we waste crew points on it. That, yeah, that's actually a lot of that's four crew points. Yeah. yeah. So we need and to if make you don't sure roll that an eight, that's eight crew points. So let's make sure that there's a we have yeah. backup. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, so so yeah he's you know when gogo says that to him oscar just I, I i guess he's waiting to see if we actually get any any help if we get any assistance from yeah, him i think i think he will make a roll uh i think this is actually going to be a profession role believe it or not um cuz this is this is what he does right this is supposed to be mm-hmm. his thing yeah, uh, and so I think it's gonna be a. Uh, I, I just created his profession, which is commander, yeah, uh, and I it's gonna be with him. charisma. And I think that uh, I think that I'm looking for. Um, I think that an appropriate role here is going to be a nine plus. Uh, the only reason why I'm adding so much difficulty is because you guys are co- you guys are moving, so it's not like hey, these are my exact coordinates, right? Yeah, um, he has he's got to coordinate with like ships that he can't even see yet. Uh, so I'm looking for a nine here. Wish him luck. Big money, big. Oof. Oh, God. Oof. Does, is, is so he... I think that what I can do here is I can he can try it next turn and reduce the difficulty by one. But this turn he's oh. ineffective at coordinating help for you. You had one right. job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you have to imagine what he's trying to cut through on the comm traffic, though. I know, I know. Like, I totally and he's understand. Using, I'm just he's lying. using equipment he's not used to. Yeah. And... Like, this is this is Commander Hartfield, or whatever the fuck his name is, right? Like, and they're like, uh, he's like, I'm on board the un, unmarked freighter, you know? And they're like, <laughs> yeah. no, no, dude, no, there's know. fucking ships firing lasers. I don't give a shit about you, right? Like, that's kind of what's going on here. Um, so. It was very fresh. It was, it was. Next, next time, maybe. Um, so I assume I that changes believe. what you want to do, Oscar. Oh yeah, well he's not gonna. Well, somebody's got a plus two three on guns. So you know. Yeah, so like like you could <laughs> you could still try it, and it would just be something different, right? Like it would, if it works, it would be something different. Yeah, I don't think that. Realistically, there's another. Yeah. Trap we can. I don't think that fits unless we can coordinate it in that way yeah. so i'm gonna wait until next turn to try that okay. but if fortune's gonna take some shots then i'm I gonna try it. okay yeah. what do you want uh what do you guys want chan to do this round refund points you want to yeah. you want to try and refund a point okay yeah uh chan i believe in How you damage have we taken just two uh just the two just damage two. for now okay just checking Ugh. Oof. he's getting worse <laughs> well that's he rolled two fours before as well like yeah. four is his money number I guess. Uh, All right. Okay. So I'm gonna do the engine burn again, but with a plus three. Okay. Um. Wait, Oscar. Who are you reducing the cost of this round, or are you? Fortune. Oh, fortune. Okay. Uh. Did you roll that? He did. No. No, he didn't no. roll it yet. Not this turn. No. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Nice. Yeah. Nailed it. No problem. All right. I get a plus three. Yep. Plus three. 
What do we need? Yeah, yeah. Nice. one damage. <laughs> yeah. Hey, cool. it's, it's not so much about the damage this time. I know. I'm just yeah, so... With the engine burn, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. So it reduces yeah, the speed it. by one, so their speed goes down to three. So now he's easier to hit from mm -hmm. now on. And he's also the same speed as you now. Yeah. So, uh, he, he might be, you know, like, outrunnable, but that increases the difficulty of not dying by crashing into a ship. Because <laughs> you guys are kind of in this shit here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and then one damage. I'm going to put that on here just so I can keep track of it. Because one damage is not enough to scare him off. He's a real ship. He's a real boy. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it laces the engines, and you see, like, some f probably some flickering, right? Um, you see some, some power readings kind of fluctuating on his ship. Um, appears to be slowing down, but still keeping pace with you. Got it. Um, go go! You still have an action, I think, this round, right? I do. What do you want to do? Do we all want to do that again? I don't think I. There's any limit to how many times I can do this. Nope. The only the limit is crew one. points. No, um, some of them have. You can't do it twice in a round, but this one. Oh really? Have oh, that. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's, it's it's up to you. He just got easier to hit. So a plus. I mean, a plus three is always nice, but we could also. What is that plus three? Is it just to hit, or could it be applied to elsewhere? Uh, mm, it's just, just to, hit, yeah. to hit. Why don't I um, trim the course instead? That may make me faster than him. Yeah. Or we could just refund points at the moment, because outrunning right now probably isn't an option. Yeah, so like you could outrun, but no, basically no, it's going to increase the difficulty of your... It's more increasing the difficulty of him to hit us. That's what yep. <laughs> people okay. continually that forget, too. that that's what trim the course does. Yep. So you want to trim the course? Yes. All right, difficulty seven. Hey, yeah, nice. And okay, so two in, points. Uh, correct. Yep, it's two yep, points. Two. And increase your speed by one for this next round, or for this round in general. Um, yeah. so it's his turn. Uh, he is again. He's gonna fire with both of his uh, multifocal lasers. Uh, your AC is six. Uh, and your speed is currently four. Four. Yeah. Oh! No. No. So he hits you with one. So the ship takes another two damage, but you guys are still okay. Still okay. You're you're a big hulking beast. Yeah, we still uh, got a lot of hits. Stop points. blowing holes in the ship. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh! Whoa! He hits you twice. That's not nice. Dedicated gunner. He, he knows what he's up. So yeah, so the ship begins taking hits. Like you increase the speed, go go, but in order to do so, you're doing less weaving and bobbing, right? And so the gunner is able to line you up and just and you just take rakes two hits across the across the midsection of the hull. How are we looking on uh, HP on the ship? It's pretty, uh, we're still over half. Okay, all right. So we're not bad. More beat up than it ever has been, though. To be fair. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, Gogo, can you make me a vehicle space with intelligence, please? It's up to you if you want to reroll that or not. Man, my vehicle space button is getting tired. Um. Yeah. No. I. I definitely am, especially considering what we want to do next. So. Yeah. Okay. And he's still... Oh my god, oh, wow. are you okay. fucking kidding? So yeah, no, he is... the lowest I can roll. So a seven keeps you safe, um, but, like, you're skimming dangerously close, danger close, and you probably take some, like, uh, like minor inconsequential damage. Like, you probably, like, shear off a, an antenna on one of the other ships, right? Like, it doesn't really matter, but it's very clear that, like... And maybe it's because you have so many holes in the ship now, right, Gogo? Like, maybe it threw you off and kind of, you know, you scraped up against one of the other ships. You don't take any damage from it, but it does certainly give you cause for concern. The ship is coming apart a little bit on you. Um, and again, he is he's right on your tail. Not going anywhere. Stuck like glue. Um, so, do you want... Uh, I mean, Hart, uh, Hartfield is going to be his name now, just because that's what I said. Uh, do you want Commander Hartfield to make another uh, profession check? Uh, yeah. All right. Nope. No, but really, we need your backup now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he finally gets through to one of the other ships. Um, and uh, he probably because he couldn't get through to like the bigger ships to help him out, he probably goes direct with somebody he knows. Right. Um, it's probably like a fighter ace that's kind of in the shit right now. Um, and he's like giving him the coordinates and like giving him the run and trying to send him sensor data. And he's able to get it all through. And he's like, "All right, I can be there in a minute. Just hold him off till then." Um, so you have you have that in your arsenal to spring your trap um, if you want to. But again, you might want to save that for like the last thing to do. I don't know. It's up to you guys because it is your turn now. So um, basically, you've you've armed the trap, Oscar. You can yeah, activate yeah, it whenever we, you want. Well, I can activate it whenever I pass a roll. So I think <laughs> we're going to attempt to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, he. Okay. So what? What did you say his name was? Uh, this is this is Commander Hartfield. Hartfield. Yep. Okay. So Hartfield gets his guys on the line, mm -hmm. uh, and we have, you know, we have open comms to them now. So mm -hmm. Oscar Oscar gets on and he says. Uh, you know, we've we've got one on us, um, and, and he gives them like coordinates. You know, how, however he would. Yeah, so they have like, like like go go. Yeah, go go. I think that like in your in your HUD, right? It gives you like a here's the intercept point, right? And so you you like begin navigating towards the intercept point, um, mm -hmm. where they'll be able to to make contact with you. Yeah, so we feed him like a, a trajectory that we're going to come in on, and Oscar says, "You know, we've we've got one on us. We need help, but you know, we're, we we got to take him out before he causes any more problems. You know, taking fire, but we're okay. And then, you know, try just feeds him feeds him whatever information they could possibly need. Yeah. Um." And then difficulty eight, sir. Roll. What? After rolling a thirteen and a twelve, this is the one I'm gonna fail. Just watch. Shh, don't say it. You know who don't get rerolls? Psychics. They sure don't. Let's see. Oof. Hey. Oh. All right. So, no in addition to your trap is sprung, right, with the your magnificent bastard, you spend the four crew points, obviously, um, but also they don't get to act this round. Uh, because of the trap being sprung, so you guys all still get to act, and then the trap will be sprung. I'll do the uh, the attacks and stuff that are going to come from that, and uh, hopefully it'll just blow him out of the water. But there's a chance. There's a small chance he comes out unscathed. This might be the super ace pilot. Who knows? He might have literally found uh, Wedge Antilles' evil twin no. flying through space. <laughs> Can we not, please? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only man to survive all the campaigns <laughs> in all the Star Wars movies. Sure. That's this guy. Um, so, what does everyone else want to do in this turn? Understanding that they're not going to get a shot. So, like, if there was a moment to go all that was, out... And that, that Magnificent Bastard used four points, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. They don't... So they don't get any action this nope. round. They don't get any action. Mm. They cannot fire. They cannot react. Right. Like, they... they you you get to do whatever you want and because it's awesome the ace pilots are going to come in and also perform their actions this round and he doesn't get to do anything in response it will just go back to you guys base or it'll go you guys the ace pilots if he's still alive we'll kick it back to you guys to do what you want to do i would like to uh engine burn again okay um Let's. Do you want to do that first, or do you want to have like Chan try and refund one? Because remember, he didn't reduce anybody's cost what this time. What are the boat? Yeah. What are the boatswain ones? Uh, boat so the boatswains, you can you can repair the ship with the boatswain ones. That's what I was um, just kind of looking at. So it's uh, I believe it's fear no flame. Yeah. Um, the deck crew braves the heat and peril of a burning compartment to shut down runaway power leads. The deck crewman is killed or seriously injured in the process. I'm not. Including Chan as a deck crewman. It, it says. What? <laughs> yeah. It, it says if you have a certain amount of people on your ship, that happens. Only if. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he can repair one d six of the hull points. Um, but yeah, uh, I, that also reduces. Uh, it says in the in the book uh, that isn't on this sheet. I don't think. Um, 
that a PC or important NPC in this case uh, is reduced to one health point and rendered unconscious for the yeah. remainder of until they're helped. So I don't think that's necessary yet. No, I don't think so either. I didn't realize it was that high stakes. I was just yeah, the boat swing is actually like super high stakes. Like, you know, it's it's R two D two being sent out on the hull of the ship during the dogfight to repair it. Like, yeah. that's the kind of shit that can that can really. But it can also heal one d six hit points, which is two or three attacks in some cases. So yeah, no, I think. Okay, uh, do you want him to just uh, try and? Yeah, let's get a point back. Get a point back? Okay. All right. Chan, I believe in you. Uh, tech astronautic with intelligence. Yeah! Hey, hey, look at that. All right, you guys re regain one crew point. Cool. Uh, so, Gogo -Go and Fortune? Because Dr. Fisher is not at his console? No. Uh-oh. So, that normally costs two, right? Yeah. So now it costs four. It doubles. And does not go off. Nope. But I still get to shoot. You do still get to shoot. Yeah, you still get to shoot. As per normal. Uh, yeah. Go, go. You're at one available crew point. I can't do shoot. Well, I can do something with one, but that is not what we you should could, do. Right you now. could just try and re recover <laughs> one if I you will just, I will just try and regain one, yes. Okay, cool. Maintain the course. Seven vehicle, or, uh, yeah, seven, because that doesn't actually increase in difficulty. Yeah. That's why they're in not in the difficulty column, because it doesn't want you to increase it on those. Oh, Holy yeah, shit! Yeah. I think yeah. I'm yeah. getting a point. Can we I get yeah, so, so you... you <laughs> 14, you are You have a course, right? You actually have a course to maintain yeah, in this instance. Yeah, I legitimately have And so, like, maybe it's <laughs> it's giving you the, the, the GPS coordinates, like, the way to get there, and you're like, no, I see an opening, and, like, you, you flip under something um, and able to regain that crew point back. Uh, and be awesome. Uh, so, uh, let's see. What are the... Uh, Damn it. Oof. Uh, yeah, that's a miss, okay. unfortunately. So you, you fire off. It's a miss. Um, I mean, and just because I, I like the, the dichotomy of this, uh, your saviors are inbound. It's Gandalf. No. I'm not <laughs> On the fourth day, and the eagles, they're coming. Sorry. So. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, you can you can see it now, right? Kind of. They're black. Yes. Because, you know, TIE fighters are black in color. Yeah. So the TIE fighters are coming in to save you, plus the, the fighter fighter ace here. Uh, so three ships... We're, you, you, we're not you, proud. We'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I do not. You you burst Thank into you. the opening, and three ships, um, kind of fall in behind. And you can see there's a moment where like they 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 realize and they like try and pull up, but the ships are going to uh, lay waste into them. I think. Um, and let me see. These ships actually aren't using those lasers. Where where do I have? Is this is this the? I have a specific setup. Nope, not those. That's what shot you on that other place. Uh, oh, there we go, yeah. <laughs> uh, so their AC is currently uh, five. Uh, I'm going to do the two normal dudes first. Uh, wow, this is going to help so much. Yeah, because I reduced his speed, so everyone gets a bonus to hit him. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Holy yeah. oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. Fucking reaper but are you kidding me <laughs> nope Hell fucking yeah we, guys, need, we need one of those guys, so yeah so right they here. all just like <laughs> fall in and they just tick, 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 tick. and um the the disadvantage to these by the way are they're like way like you can only put them on like heavy ships and shit well um, that and they they still get penalties to or uh with armor and stuff like that right correct yeah they don't have ap so this is this is actually yeah. reduced by his armor uh, which is actually kind of high uh, on these guys. Wow. Yeah, they have yeah, armor five, so it really only a, does four damage. on Because he rolled shot. a thirteen. Mm -hmm. For for damage, he rolled a thirteen. <laughs> okay, uh, but no. there are two of those five. smaller ships. Five, one, 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 three. Oh God, <laughs> the second one misses badly. Um, it's okay. Uh, so it's okay. 
It's okay, buddy. Uh, no problem. Yeah, yeah but then... Then... You were just suppressive uh, fire, right? That's all it... <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, the other ship probably has a, has a um, Reaper battery as well. They wouldn't be made I know differently. I'm, I'm kidding, because he missed you. Um, correct. Uh, but he is better at his job. Like I said, he's a... Uh, He's a he's a fighter ace. There it is. Boom. Yeah. yeah. And so that right there with that hit. Curb stomp. Yeah. He just <laughs> explodes. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't get the wait. Hold on. Fire. Yeah. There we go. Uh, explosion. <laughs> yeah. He explodes and is no longer a problem. Yeah. Um, bye and bye. we get we get that scene right where the the three fighters kind of like fall into formation around you, um, and even though this would be impossible, you see the ace like kind of give you like a like a two finger salute out the window, and then they all pull up yeah. to go back into the fight, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. Oscar returns it whether or not it's visible. Yeah. Right. Exactly. We we see it at, we see it as goers of the movie, but uh, you know yep. obviously yeah. it's not yeah, seen by the rest of them. Red. And you guys are out of the woods for now. Um, and I think that narratively, uh, it's probably about the time that you guys like burst out of the back of the the line of frigates and stuff that are firing, uh, and are into open space, and we probably get a slash cut. Um, but the question is, where are you guys going? Because you're relatively safe now. You're out of the combat. Um, there is, there's no other, like, pursuit from what you guys can tell. Um, yeah, and you guys will regain all your crew points. There's no need to all have them, them gone. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to throw you guys into another combat. Unless you guys want to get crazy. Like, I remember you. Well, I'm not going back into fight. If you guys want to, like, <laughs> you know, pull, no, 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 no. drop this guy off, pull a Yui, and just, like, go back in, I'm I, totally cool I with that. I think... I think we can already come away from this with heads held high. Absolutely. I, I, I don't think 100%. we're going to risk any more damage to the ship. Yeah. But we, we took out two ships and assisted with the third. Yeah. yeah absolutely. With, with a, a non-fighting ship. Important piece there. True. Yep. I, I think I would have repeated my previous question as to uh, where would you like us to drop you? Yeah, and again, yeah. And, As and, if that conversation never ended, it's just like... like we're exactly. we're done now. No, we're really done now. Where are we dropping your ass off? Yeah, I think I think he says, you know, just take me to the spaceport again. Um, you know, aye, I can aye. I can link up with my ship later. Uh, so, during the, during the, like, at this point, like, four-hour journey to the spaceport, what is done with the crew? Like, this is... It's not probably the first significant space battle a couple of you have been in, but certainly together, beyond the scraps that you've had before, where it was basically just put all power to the engines and run away. Um, yeah. You know, this was this was a little bit more developed than that. This was pretty hairy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the crew points got pretty low there. There was definitely some real chance for a mishap in there. Well, more importantly, there were carriers shooting in our direction. <laughs> Correct, yeah. A, a carrier, at the very least. Yeah, and, and a bunch of other ships designed to destroy ships like ours in one hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I think Oscar Oscar breathes a relieved sigh. And then he'd probably just, um, you know, first order of business that. would be checking in with um, I mean, I guess both Gogo and Fisher would know exactly what was damaged on the ship, but I think Fisher would probably have a better idea on the sensors. Um, well, well, honestly, Chan would probably have the best idea of what's what's busted up. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. So he's he's probably got like all the damage readouts in engineering because he's the one that's like rerouting power and shit like that, and needs to know where the drain is and all that other fun stuff. Oh, is it Devin eating chips? Whoops. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Don't blame that shit on me. <laughs> I, I, I totally blame Megan. I thought it was going to be Megan that was eating chips. Um, yeah, so Chan probably has it, but actually, let's let's take a look there. So, uh, how much damage has been done to the ship? Uh, let's see. We're at 13 out of 20. 
Um, so let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, somebody roll me two d eight. Okay. Um. So, oh, okay, perfect. Uh, so it appears, and Chan probably comes across, like, kind of staticky. Um, sounds like there's some, like, weird interference or whatever down where he is. And he's like, um, uh, attention, uh, cr c uh crew. I, th um, there, I, uh, there might be some problem with the engines. We, we have the, um, in-system, but we may not want to attempt a, a, a drill just like right away maybe maybe later I, i'll take a look at it do you need some help chan or are you, are you uh right? no no i i uh i i think it would be safer if it was only me there is a lot of um uh uh stuff here oh, okay well you holler if you you need somebody okay <laughs> I actually think you don't get a response. Like the oh, com I, signal I is like cut I out. Wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but that doesn't sound encouraging. Yeah. So a three is the spike drive, unfortunately, uh, mm -hmm. and then a six is the cargo space one. Not my fault, guys. <laughs> Um, if we're going to the spaceport, I mean, I know, like, an invasion is currently happening, but... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, they would assist. they would actively be repairing <laughs> ships that came back damaged. Yeah, for sure. True. Yeah. Okay, sick. Well, we just need to make it to that then, I guess. Um, yeah. So, what else, what else goes down in the next four hours as you guys travel backwards to uh, the West Wind? I would pull out my final emergency supply flask of um, engine grease. <laughs> yeah. Boom juice. Yeah. And uh, happily share it with the crew on a successful win. I'm going to call it a win. <laughs> Oscar politely declines and also informs Oha. <laughs> to decline? Yeah. yeah. Probably like right <laughs> as she's reaching for it, you just like put her hand down. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So she, she probably is... I mean... Well, you, you tell me, Jordan. Is she yeah, sort she, of shaken by all this, or is she... Like... I don't think she is shaken. In fact, I think she appears unnaturally calm. Well, I mean, that that was... So, like, maybe, half of it, maybe that is that shaken, would, yeah. right? Like, maybe she is shaken, but she reacts as to, like, basically go into a meditative state, right? Okay. Um, but I think, yeah, she, she would reach for the flask, I think, and then you yeah. could, like... No, you don't, you don't want any of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when she, when she reaches, um, Oscar kind of like just waves, waves his hand to say like to say like no, 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 no. Yeah. And he, he he says in uh, uh, he he says I uh, not not good for Sriak. Yeah, had and I a think very bad experience once. Yeah, she like recoils a little bit and like just kind of nods in in agreement. I assume Fortune just shrugs. It's like more for me. Yeah, I'm like all right, pass it to uh, to go go, and I offer some to what do you call him? Uh, Commander Hartfield. I think Commander, Commander Hartfield, Hartfield like uh, he probably declines and says, "Ah, I have to go check on my men, make sure they're all right," and like quickly heads back towards the cargo bay. I probably hold up the, the flask to like my ear and give it a little shake. Like, I don't have enough for them, so I'll finish it. Do you just leave Gogo -Go dry? Well, I gave some to Gogo. -Go. Oh, okay, okay. I I think Gogo -Go just waves you off. She oh. Doesn't take any. <laughs> she well, that's deeply drink concerning. Any like five days, so like deeply whatever. concerning. So now I'm sitting here with the flask and I'm like, uh, fuck all y'all. Yeah, and I just keep drinking. Just drink it myself. Uh, I actually need to roll some things because just I just realized which which cargo bay got hit. Uh, that is still bolted to the deck. We're fine. <laughs> Did it say anything about keep away Holy from explosions? Crap. No. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, let's just do this right. 
Okay. Oh my god. Uh, so, um, I, I thought these guys would be made of sterner stuff than this. Fifteen is like the base save for any NPC yes. in the entire right. game, basically, unless they're yeah, like they're... elite. Um, and NPCs are kind of floppy. Yeah. So I don't think the fourteen or eleven are like death. Uh, however, I think that. Um, if any of you go check on them, uh, the one whose arm had broken actually bled out because of all, like, the jostling around. The guys weren't able to treat it properly, and he's, like, dead, basically. Um, even when Dr. Fisher, like, if he calls for Dr. Fisher, once Dr. Fisher gets back there, it's too late unless you want another zombie. I would say another trip to Paphos. No. Uh, Yuri Pylos. No, um, Yuri Pylos. Yeah, sorry. We definitely can't go to Paphos. God. No. No, we cannot. And also, like, six other systems, but, you know, yeah. who's counting? But, like, in particular... <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think that that is... That's the extent of what the NPCs do. Um, they just basically almost die. Just or die, yeah, they, they just that's die. That's their only... Yeah, that's yeah. all that happens in the four hours for them. Yeah. Um, and so there's, it's probably, like, pretty mournful for those three guys that knew him. Uh, but, you know, casualties happen. It's not like they're gonna blame you. You got them out alive, so... It could have been all of them. Yeah, it could have been all of them. Right, exactly. So, uh... I think that you guys arrive at the station, which appears to be, um, in the full midst of, like, gearing up, right? Like, um... You're probably, like, hit with a targeting computer when you enter into the space. No, like, no, no, friendly. <laughs> e right, exactly. And, like, Commander Hartfield has to come up again and, like, provide access codes and, like, prove who he is. And then, like, you know, everything goes down. But um, this... I have to explain again that the ship is not stolen. I am <laughs> yeah. Arthur Fortune. Exactly. All of <laughs> that happens. Here's my credentials. Yep, yep, exactly. All of that happens. Um, and I think that the, the scene that we see is... Um, there's like you guys you found like a bed sheet or a cloth or something uh, and they have like a stretcher and they have like the, the two guys are carrying their their friend um, and yeah, uh, I assume with, you're with seeing that, you're seeing the commander off like down the loading dock or something that, like that I think Oscar, Oscar's definitely there and he's being um, you know as helpful as possible to get this guy like to make sure that the guy who died is actually seen to yeah. Um, but I, th I think that, uh, yeah, he just is there to help facilitate the whole process. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd, I'd meet them at the, the door on the way off the ship. Yeah, on the way off. Yeah, and I'd be like, what was his name? Does he have a name? Yeah, uh, the, one of the guys probably like... Robert he went by He went by Jones. Jones. All right, I'd turn around and I'd scratch his name into the, the board above the sure, door yeah the black. yeah yeah and i think i think the commander like you can see like he's he's kind of like gritting his teeth and trying not to like tear up um and uh, as he departs he's like well as much as i'd say i'd like to do this again i certainly wouldn't but you all are worth your medal in my book and he gives you like a like a military salute and uh drops his hand um awesome. yeah scoring points with west wind yeah, absolutely. Uh, I I would say that Commander Hartfield can be a contact for you guys for sure. Um, I'm going to add him if you want. Yeah, write sheet. write his write his name down. Uh, probably in the in the sector guide as well, so that anybody can any of these Adam four could use him. Friend. Smart. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, he's definitely somebody you could look up. I mean, I wouldn't say you did him a favor per se, but you did keep him alive, and that's worth something. We we proved our competency yeah you're right, right. Yeah. if Minimum, our character yeah. ever comes into question we can at least use yeah. him as a reference yeah. if, you, right? if, you, if you guys get brought up on treason yeah, charges if get brought to trial yeah, yeah he, you, you know? could definitely call him and he'd be like they saved me and my crew's life you know yeah, he could definitely do that for you um, seems good cool awesome and uh, so going about getting the ship fixed it's still going to cost money for you guys because you're, you're not on the uh, not on the free ship repairing plan. 
Um, Why not? To get the to get the spike drive and cargo bay flyable, it's not going to cost any money. It's just going to take some time to repair all that stuff. 